Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Melina with scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. We are making today a layered side pocket cluster. I want to say too, if you are not already a subscriber here at my channel, I would love for you to be a subscriber and I would love for you to like this video. Help me out with YouTube just a little bit. If you would, I would love that. Thank you so much. This is six inches tall by, I think it's four and three, no, yeah, four and three fourths wide by six tall. This is something that I decided I needed for my junk journal, but this can be added to all sorts of paper projects. It, it doesn't have to be just a junk journal, but let me show you what it would look like. Let me get mine out here. Okay, this is just a regular half sheet journal. So, let me get to one of the pages here. See how that would fit right on the page and still leave plenty of room here. Or, I have this tab here. You could jut it out like this and have the tab showing. And you've got way plenty of room on the spine there. Let me show you the interaction of this. First off, you have this layer here and you have a tag out of this little pocket, this front pocket here. And then you have another pull out here from that second pocket. And then yet another pull out from that third pocket. So you have three different pockets on this one interactive piece. And then I did not do anything to the back. It is pattern paper, but I didn't do anything to the back. Um, just because I'm going to be adhering it into my junk journal. You could add this to a scrapbook page. You could add this to a mini album. There's all sorts of things that this can be added to. The reason I have this black um, card stock down is because the background of this is pretty much the same color as my beautiful desk and I wanted you to be able to see all the details. So let's go ahead and make another and I'll show you how it all come together. Let me find my handy dandy measurement paper and I will show you that um, at the end so you can kind of jot it down or take a screenshot of it if you want to. So we're going to go ahead and just use that same, um, I was using some Bow Bunny paper, uh, it's called the Avenues. It is very retired, <laughs> but it was in my collection and so I just decided to use that just because it's very pretty and it's kind of neutral. I love the mustard colors in it. And a lot of my um, paper crafting here lately has mustard in it. So I thought it would go really well with what I'm already working on. So this next one, this one has a notch out on the front. And I will make that front pocket on this next one. But I'm going to show you just a little variation of it on this little tab here, I think. We'll see when we get there. But I have a little notch out here and then a little notch out below that one. See there? And I just used my one and a half circle punch to notch those three spots. Then here I used my handy dandy tab punch 
for that piece and just punched it out of the paper from the collection. And then this, this, and this are just um, die cuts that I had in my stash. This is, I punched out some of the collection's paper with my one and a half punch and just kind of um, eyeballed it to match it up to that notch spot there. This is one of those um, handmade with my typewriter word labels that I just added there and I added an epoxy dot that I've got in my stash. At the top of this tag, I made the tag. It was not already a tag, so I made the tag from the collection papers and then I used my little 5 8 circle punch and I punched these little pieces here and then I used my crocodile to punch the hole in the middle and just got some twine from my stash and made that tag. That's just a piece of the collection paper and then I cut another one and a half inch circle from more collection paper and then I put on that die cut that I just had in my stash. So that is all of the details on that one. And let's start another one. So I'll show you how it all come together. Now this <clears throat> paper, I get this grid paper from Stamp It Up. I can't find the grid paper anywhere else. That's why I buy it from Stamp It Up. I love this grid paper. It lines me up when I'm doing projects. Um, I am not a Stamp It Up representative, but I do love their grid paper. And when I get low, I buy more grid paper from Stamp It Up. <laughs> so that's explaining why that is there. And I have bunches and bunches and bunches of this paper left over. How in the world I had so much of it? Well, I guess just because I loved it at the time, I still love it. So my past self knew that my future self would still love it. So she just got lots of it. Um, let's see here. What do we want to start with? Our very first piece, this very first piece here, is six inches by seven inches, and you have to score that. So let's see. If I did that, it would not show. Um, you just, if you have directional paper, you just got to um, figure out what you want to show up front. And since we're putting a pocket on the front of it and a tag, you're not really going to see a lot of that pattern. So I'm just wanting to pick out something that I could live without seeing all of it all the time. Let's see here. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do this. This side. <laughs> That's a little busy for the front. So let's do this side. And I need to cut it six inches by seven inches. I have pulled my camera in really tight so that y'all can see the details of this. So I'm going to have to push my paper trimmer up just a little bit so y'all can me cut but it will not get the whole paper trimmer in because I have the camera pulled in so tight. All right so I took the branding strip off and I need to get my height which is six inches and then I need to get my length which is seven inches Okay, and then I need my scoring tool. Here we go. And I need to score it. Okay, I want it to fold 
this way. I need to score it at four inches. Okay, so you've got six tall. You're scoring it at four inches. Okay, so that is going to be that first flap right there. See? That's that first flap. Alright, so before we do anything else to this, we're going to notch it or do whatever we're wanting to do right here. And I'm thinking about going a little bit old school and using a border punch and making me a little border right here instead of making a notch because these are so easy I don't even need the notch to pull that out so I'm going to put a border here using this punch and let's see what paper I want to use to do that um I want it a little bit busy and I don't want just all the browns that's too much let's see that's the only thing when I'm making all this stuff is picking out all the paper because I love all the paper all right so I need it six inches and then doesn't matter really how wide. Until I get my um, order done. Then I will figure out if I need to cut some off. So I'm going to make sure it's long enough. Six inches. Okay. And then I'm going to border punch. And I always turn mine over so that I can see the actual punching that's going on. But just remember that you need to keep it as flat up against that as you possibly can. I haven't used a border punch in so long. And I have a few of them. Not too many, but I have a few. That I need to keep using there and once more I believe that'll get me we'll see One more time. Let's get it all the way up here. Let's see. If that's done it. Get that little piece off there. Okay, so I have it all cut. And I like that width. I like how that looks. And then I will put a, a pocket on top of this. And then I'll have my tag. So I like how that looks. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this all inked. This is totally optional. Um, with this one I used the vintage photo and I used antique linen on that one just because it was on the lighter side and I didn't want to get it too heavy but I'm going to go ahead and ink this up all the way around and then I'm going to ink this piece two and be right back. Alright, I wanted to show you that I'm going to go ahead and ink this fold right here too. 
because you will be able to see that as you see here. So I'm going to really heavily ink that to give me some dimension. Because once you start layering up all of this, the if you're not inking the edges, excuse me, your um, layers are going to get a little bit lost. So that's why I like to ink the edges to give it that distinct look. And I'm going to let just a, a few of the holes kind of hang over here. Yep, and I'm going to glue that down. Just going to go give me a bead of glue just right along the edge here. Okay. And then I'm going to open it up and get all of that lined up straight. Okay, so that is straight. Yep. Maybe just a little bit further out with that. Okay, so that is my border punch lined up. So now with this one, I didn't have this extra over here. So we're going to see about this pocket but if you are just making a notch like I did here this front pocket is two and three eighths inches by three inches if you are doing it just like this one not doing the border punch this one this front pocket is two and three eighths inches by three inches so if I were to do two and three eighths inches here so I'm looking at there if I do that you know what I think I'm going to stick with that because I like how it overlays so I think I'm going to stick with that measurement. So two and three eighths inches by three inches. And I don't want it to come over on this too much anyway. So I'll just stick with that original measurement. And this is where your scrap pile comes in very handy. I want to look here. Okay, I need three inches tall. I keep forgetting I have you pulled in really tight. So three inches. Okay, we're good. By two and three quarters. I'm going to measure that here. Oh, that's going to cut off too much of that. I'm going to come down here. Two and three eighths is there. If you know me, you know I'm not great with measurements, so that's why I have to do it over and over and over again to make sure I am correct. Now, I have a little notch here from where that paper was trimmed weird. So I'm just going to notch at the other side to match it up. Go a little bit deeper. Yep. I just matched that up. You don't have to do that. I did not do that here. But I'm going to add that like that. And it's going to give me a little detail there. Just making sure. All right. So I'm going to notch this at the top. Like I did there. And my center 
needs to be about there. So I just do that so when I put that circle punch in there I will be as close to center as possible. Then I'm going to ink these edges and ink that notch. Ink all of the edges. And you can ink it as heavy as you would like, as light as you would like, or not ink at all. But you're just not going to get dimension if you don't ink. Let's see. All right, and I'm going to take that as far this way to the edge as possible so it's not overlapping my... Yep, okay. So I'm going to put this on with liquid glue. This is Barely Arts. Oh, and also with those circle punches that I'm using today, we have those in the shop, and I will leave a link. They are in the new category on our website, and they are in the journaling supplies, journal supplies category on the website. All right, so I just went around the three edges with that liquid glue. Coming in here and making sure there's no glue that's going to mess that part up. Okay, we are good. There. All right, and you can go ahead and get these two sides put down. This, since it has that fold there, you don't have to worry about putting anything there. But I'm going to use the 1 8th, 1 8th <laughs> inch score tape to get this down here for this first pocket that we create, or first side pocket. We've already created a front pocket. And now we are making that first layered side pocket. All right, so I have that tiny little 1 8 inch score tape just on the two sides here and here and then we're going to fold it over and make sure we're all lined up before we press down and we are And just remember, before you put that, those two sides down, you, you need to do whatever you want to do to that edge there. Okay, so there is that. And so we have that first little pocket going right there. All right, so now we need to, before we make this tag, we're going to go ahead and put the rest of our layers on. So for the second layer, we need to cut a piece that is six inches by three and three fourths inches. So usually what I have to do with my videos is I have to um, record them and I call it mix just because that's what we do with our music or with our singing group but I have to edit record and edit here at home and then I upload at the shop when I go to work because the internet works so much better over there our internet our home internet is quite horrible so it would take multiple multiple hours <clears throat> excuse me to um, upload even a 20 minute video 
So I get all of this try to get all of this done and edited and everything here at home. And then when I go to work, I'm just sitting and doing my work and it will upload as I'm doing that. So <clears throat> that lets you know why I'm a little bit froggy this morning throat wise let's see second layer is six inches by four and three fourths so I'm gonna line this up and before you attach this second layer you're gonna need to notch this part how you want it so since I don't have that center notch on this one like I do here I will go ahead and use a center on this so it needs to be three inches and I'm not going to go too deep because you don't want to get over onto that other layer okay And then don't forget to ink your notch after you do that. Okay. And then you are going to use that same eighth inch score tape. You can totally use um, liquid glue here, but I like the instant gratification of being able to add stuff to my pocket right after I get done putting this score tape on. With liquid glue, you have to wait. So I'll lock this. All right, take my backing off. And then line it up and make sure you're as lined up as possible before you press down any. Okay, so we are good there. Okay, so we have one pocket, two pockets, okay, and then I want to go ahead and add a tab also, and then I'll give you measurements for your inserts and your tag. Let's see what this looks like here. Yes, I like that. And I think I'll add one of my tabs to that. So if you've got a little die cut or something like that you want to add to your tab, you can. I'm going to cut this one out and get it off of this big sheet so that I can cut it a little easier. Fussy cut it. All right, I'm going to get real close to my label borders because this is a small project. Okay, and I think. Yes, I like that. All right, I'm going to ink that up just a little bit so it's not so white. And then ink my tab. Okay, and then use my 
liquid glue. To add this on. And I'm going to look on the back to make sure it's lined up good. And it is. And then I will use another stream of liquid glue. And add that. And then I believe I will add... Sorry, my arm was really close to you there. A little epoxy dot. To that. To give it a little bit of dimension. Like that there. Cute. Alright. Now, we need to add our tag and our two inserts. So for your front tag, it needs to be two and three eighths by four and three fourths. Two and three eighths Let's say what this is. Two yeah, that'll get me most of that door. So two and three eighths by four and three eighths. I think I'm gonna cut just this little green piece off the top and then see where I am. Four and three fourths, sorry. Four and three fourths is where I'm needing to cut. I'll cut the bottom of it off. Yep. Like that. Alright, so that is going to go in our little front pocket here. That's cute. Okay, and I am going to use this and what other little paper to make my little circle like here I think I might go with the white <laughs> and it pops out on me there we go and I'm going to ink these. I didn't on that one. And that pocket cluster that I made is more light as far as color scheme. So I didn't ink it up as much as I'm going to this one. And when we get done, we'll see if we like it better or not. So I'm thinking this is not center because I didn't cut it center. But I'm thinking that about is. So let's add it on with just a little dot of liquid glue. Lower than that. There we go. That looks about right. And then get my Crop it all using the big edge or the big um, hole punch on the one side. And that gets that punched. And then I need to add some string or ribbon or something. And I think. I'm going to add this 
seam binding. I think this is seam binding. It's thicker than regular seam binding. So it's more like ribbon, but it's not satiny. Let's pull the two free ends through and then, oop, then pull these through. I didn't get that even. Hold on. Restart. To get those pulled through. And then we have to pull them at the same time. There we go. And then, of course, you don't want to pull too hard because this is just cardstock. So you will rip it if you pull too hard. Okay, there's that. And I think I want to trim my edges, my tag corners. I want them even on both sides. So I'm going to line this tag up. So if you have another tag or if you have a tag template, go ahead and use that as far as cutting your corners off. I'm just using this other tag that I had to get my corners cut off. And with that being a door on this one, it would look fine not. Um, trimming that, but I like for it to look the part, and it's a tag, so we need it to look like a tag. I do anyway. All right. And I might have to I think I'm going to. And I have to do because this ribbon is wanting to run all over the place. So I'm going to do. I just pulled it tight and put me a little staple in there so it doesn't run off with me and try to come off the rest of the time I'm making this. So there is that. Our little front tag there. And we can dress it up however we would like. I'm actually thinking about putting something here, leaving the tag as is, because it's a little more, um, got a little bit more design on it than this one does. So I'm thinking about, there goes my stomach again, y'all. Sorry. Thinking about putting something right there. But leaving that part that I love so much. Still showing. And let's see, maybe Ooh, I know. I don't have any of this. And there. Let's see. That would be too wide. But I like those little banners. Those are cute. Ooh, what about that? Yep, yeah, let's do this. I'm going to use this blue as one of my inserts. And I'm going to trim that off and I'm going to fussy cut that bird and put her on there. Alright, for my first insert it is five and three eighths by two and three fourths. Both inserts are going to be that same measurement. So 
five and three eighths. Let's see, five and three eighths here. One, two, three, five and three eighths by two and three fourths. So five and three eighths Let me find my mark. There by four and three fourths, which is there. Hmm, I want to cut the other side. I want this part showing. So I need to go five and I mean four and three fourths, which is there. And then I'm going to round my corners. You don't have to do this part. You can leave it as is, but I'm going to use my um, We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder. And I'm going to round my corners and then ink my edges. I love how that turned white spots a little more vintage looking. So that's our first little insert, or we can make it this one because both inserts are the same exact size. So there's that one, or there, just wherever you would like to put it. I kind of like it there better. I like that. And for a little detail, really your preference whatever you would like to add there and I'm thinking I want to add a little bit of a pull on this so I'm going to use my one inch circle punch and Let's see, just a little piece of scrap somewhere that's not too matchy-matchy with the pocket that it's in. Let's go with this. And it's wanting to roll away. And... Yeah, I like that side. So ink and then however you would like it and see how that kind of lines up with that. I love how that looks. I love that look. So I want it to be sticking out like that. So I just need a little dot of glue there and line it up if it's got a design on it. Line it up how you would like it and then make sure that it lines up how you want it with that notch also. Need to pull mine over just a little bit. Okay. So there's my pull for that one. I'm not going to pull it just yet since it's not dry. Alright. And then I need the one 
other insert and we're still going by that five and three eighths by two and three fourths. So let's get one more paper out and get that added. And then I will show y'all up close pictures at the end. Let's see, I think I want to go with this. Yes, that's pretty and it picks up on this light part here. I like that. All right, so five and three eighths tall. Get my trimmer back once more and then by four and three fourths wide and I want to cut off the side that doesn't have anything. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> two and three fours wide oh gracious I was like wait a minute that is entirely too wide what did I do <laughs> oh wait I was going by an earlier um, measurement instead of this one all right I'm going to round my corners I love that. That's pretty. And then ink all of my edges. And then I think I'll dirty that edge up just a little bit more. And dirty up there in that middle just a little bit more there I like that okay and then I need it to go back a little bit so it doesn't cover up that notch but I want to add some type of pull for it oh that looks good some type of pull for it and I'm going to put the pull up here so see this one it's not really a pull but it gives you a little bit of you know to get it pulled out of there so let's see what I want to add to that one maybe I don't want to add another tab because that would be too much like that. Let me think about that as I fussy cut this pretty little bird out of here. I'm going to go ahead and go around and get it off of the big sheet and start in fussy cutting while I think about what kind of pull I want on that one insert there. All right, it's like I got a feeling I'm not going to be able to keep all of her tail feathers for this, but we'll see. Yep, it's going to be fine even if it's hanging off, but it still needs something underneath it. Let's see, I'm going to. Trim out part of this dually and see what that gives us. I'm not going to do the little points on it because I'm not going to need all of it anyways and it's going to kind of hang off of the edge. So we're going to see what that looks like here. If I do that and 
cut off. I like that. All right, so I'm going to make me a cut there. And a cut there. So, okay. I'm going to ink this edge and get it all glued down. Right on the edge of my pocket. And I'm going to ink around here. There we go. And get my little birdie added on. Cute. So it's that talon or that tail feather. Not a talon. That tail feather is just barely hanging off. I went ahead and cut that off. Cute. All right, now for my little tab for this one, just going to be a piece of the cardstock folded over and I'm going to staple it. So I'm going to get my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. Here are the measurements and I've labeled everything. So I'm going to leave that there if you want to screenshot that. Those are your measurements. And let's see, I want a mustard color as that tab. Here we go with these clocks here. And I just want to cut out a small little rectangle. Trim that off. And here and trim that and then that off and I want to fold it over like this and see what that looks like if I need to trim it a little bit further down if I do that Nope, I think we're good. Let's see. I'm going to glue that down so it won't be getting in the way of that. Yep, just about right there. I want to corner, um, round these corners so it's kind of oval looking on there and not so harsh. There we go. And then just dot a glue, dot a glue. And get it where you want it here. And you want it to stick out some. And before it dries all the way, stick it in there. I'm still going to staple it. Just give me a second. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to put a staple there. And I think I'll put one there too, like it's holding that on. then add that in and see that works really well as your pull up there 
Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so there are our two side pocket, um, layered side pocket clusters to add to our um, junk journals or your mini albums or your scrapbook pages, whatever you would like to add them to. And I'll show you here. See that you can add that easily with enough room on the edge. Or since you've got a tab, you can pull it out toward the edge and let that tab be seen. This one actually goes really well with that. I like that. So there are two. This one I made before. This one I just made with you. And I love how they turned out. I love the side pocket hustle. I love that. Um, I love the um, different pulls and the different inserts. I will give you some up close and personal um, still shots at the end of this video. So be sure to stick around for that so you can see all the details. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. And y'all have a blessed day. God bless. Bye y'all.